Sandy, hurry up. We gotta open this. <laughs> what are you wearing? Too much? <laughs> well, I guess not for the holidays. And of course, our secret Smarty gift swap. I'm Sandy. And I'm John. And this is my lady to stay. holidays everybody it's a week before christmas just about yeah yeah for those who for those who celebrate and uh we have a really special unboxing to do a few months ago i reached out to magical girl kit kat because you know i gotta do something with with her for the holidays and miss kitty blue and diana the doll fairy all people who love Smart Doll. Yeah, um, amongst other dolls, but definitely Smart Doll. We decided that it would be fun to do this gift swap, and we did it as a secret, and then we kind of collaborated on how it was all going to go. A secret from who? From each, well, like what? From each other, like who was who got who? It was oh, like, so you got like a secret, secret Santa swap. sort yeah. of thing. Got it. Yeah, we used a, a website and set up like a randomized exchange, and nobody knows who the other one got. It was a secret for me too, because I have no idea what's happening. I did it all without him, but he gets the fun of helping open it, so that's cool. And then he gets to edit this, so that's great. Um, <laughs> we decided that the gift that we exchanged should be handmade. Now we could have other things, but handmade had to be the the big item. I sent out my gift and I received one from my secret person and you will be seeing all of these videos all weekend. So we'll make sure to put links down to the other channels in the description and as soon as we have links to their specific videos, we'll add those too. For now, you know, just make sure you go to their channels and subscribe because then you'll know when they post their video with their opening. Sneaky girl. So how special is it as a doll collector? to have your secret Smarty Swap be Diana the Doll Fairy. Well, considered I've never had a secret Smarty Swap before. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty special. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this box. I, I just cannot wait to see what she's made. Like all of you, I saw what you made and it was so much fun, you know, watching you go through that project. I cannot wait to see the video uh, of that opening. Uh, but I really want to see what's in this box. Okay. Okay. She's clear. Okay. I'm so excited for this. This is so much fun. Just in case you needed to know, this box is six inches by six inches by, by six, six inches. inches. Okay. So here we have, oh, it's a little, oh, that's so cute. It's Hello Kitty paper. That's really like with the parasols and everything and the kimono. Oh, it's a little, it's a, she made a little, uh, it's a little envelope. This will get saved, definitely. Seal on it. It's a little, it's a little llama seal with a, with a Santa beard on. <laughs> she sent one of her stickers. Those are really nice. They are. They're actually very, very nice. I love her little avatar. That is so cute. Yep. We got to find a good spot for that. Dear Sandy and John, I hope you have a wonderful holiday this year. I've been really enjoying your videos and your live streams when I manage to catch them. Your enthusiasm is infectious and your videos always get me feeling excited about dolls and creativity. I hope you will love the outfit and accessories I made especially for you. Yeah. Love, Diana. Uh, and there's spoilers. Yes, yeah, so, spoilers. We'll, we won't read it out loud. Yeah, there's spoilers at the bottom, instructions for us, but um, that's so sweet. She made it especially for us and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Here you go, some bubble wrap. Some bubble wrap, um, <laughs> yep, that can be part of the gift, okay. Oh, this is the small stuff, you can't really pop it. Oh, you gotta like twist This it. is so interesting, as I'm reading this letter and I'm like, I can totally hear Diana reading this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so a little doll fairy sticker again. You gonna pull out or you gonna open the... Oh, I guess I should pull it out. Yeah, because there's multiple layers. There's we'll hide that. extra stuff in there. Oh, it looks like my colors. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got, it's an old fashioned blouse with, with little flowers on it. It's, yeah. it's, it's really cool. And the pattern is very interesting. It has this sort of, I don't want to say tie dye, but like this, almost like this little stain across, like, you know, like this different coloration down various parts of the stripe. Yeah, there's like some darker points in the stripe. Yeah, like, it's almost like it's slightly antiqued or something. Yeah, it's really, really cute. She did Velcro in the back. 
It's beautiful. This is totally Harper and Miranda. This yep. is their look. And the skirt. The spoilers were a warning about staining. And as you can see, the skirt is very black. Oh, so cute. <gasps> that is very cool. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love the... Uh, the the points on the the kind of the waist area here. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's a name for that. I remember most of the names. You do pretty well. Made just for Sandy by Diana the Doll Fairy. Happy holidays, <laughs> Diana. And her little business card. That's really sweet. So nice. Love that. She's been really amping up her sewing and um so this is a very this is a very sweet special gift. She did line the waistband in white, which, which is, is nice, which is terrific. But she did say she recommends a petticoat or something um, in order to help with staining, just in case. And I would say, I mean, the skirt just wants a petticoat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what else is in the box because I know there was more stuff in there. Okay, this is this has got bubble wrap all around it. Oh, I think I might know what this is. I, I think I do too. I think she might have totally just nailed open it. me. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a porcelain little top. Oh, that's very cute. It's a beautiful little teapot. That is just, uh, that so is. So festive. Diana, you just like nailed it. Like, I love teapots. That is just like so good. Okay, it looks like the, the top is sealed on yeah so this can either go it can go on the christmas tree the dolls can yep. tr can use it you know yeah it is it is handmade uh obviously not by uh diana in but, poland uh, it's handmade in poland so that's beautiful little ceramics a little polish pottery that's awesome i've got another little one right here bring out that box oh oh this goes with the dre with the this goes with the blouse. Oh, it's beautiful. That is perfect. I I swear, Diana, you could not have done more me than what you've put out so far from this box. We haven't done it in a while, but last week's video, we got back into the sewing room. And if you pay any attention to the sewing room, you haven't seen all of it in that video, but it's all pink and white and gold and black. Yep. And this looks perfect. Before we open that, to just add to the perfe perfection. Chocolate. Ferre Rocher, no, no, nonetheless. Or is it Ferrero? I thought it was, I always thought it was Ferre. I don't know why. I, I always say Ferrero, Ferrero, I don't know. I don't Do we know. need to look up? Tasty. That's <laughs> what happens when we second guess ourselves. So this is the last package from the box. We had a conversation about how. Um, oh, excuse me, sorry. We had a conversation about how how uh, Diana and I are both people who like to use reusable ribbon mm -hmm. and save ribbon. Like I, I was like, I don't even buy ribbon that I can't either use as like tree filler or for sewing. Sure. Or give again. Oh, it's not gonna open nicely. I have to give up. Get to keep the ribbon. <gasps> I can't even. You broke her. This little fan. I mean, you should, my sewing room, like I have fans hanging all over my bulletin board. Yep. Like I. It's awesome. It is my... Uh, there was a time that, that a hand fan was in serious consideration as, like, part of your branding. I want to say a pink fan with black trim. Yeah, this was actually going to be considered part of the branding because it's actually... I went to school for acting and it's my favorite hand prop. Yep. I love fans. I love the flicking of a fan. Oh, and there's a it's, whole language to the fan. There's a whole language of the fan. It's just an elegant prop that says so much. This is just... We're going to have to take good care of this. This looks so cool. That is awesome. Okay, Diana, you have to tell me if you made this because it's actually like... I think she did. I you know, love it. It's it's intricate, but it is, you know, functionally uh, 
you it's know, like cardstock card and some pieces of like thicker cardstock or cardboard or, um, and then a, a little pin and that has been, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure she I, did. I love it. It looks amazing. Yeah, you you outdid yourself, and I have to get this onto a doll so that that everybody can see it. So let's just take a quick inventory of what amazing things Diana uh, made for us. You've got this beautiful black skirt, a blouse, a cameo, uh, a lovely ceramic teapot, an awesome hand fan. And of of course the Ferrero share. Just say it faster <laughs> and keep going. It's perfect. I cannot <laughs> wait to get it onto one of my girls. I really can't. Speaking of which, I just it, this is perfection. Um, I still have to make her a beautiful white petticoat, but Diana, happy holidays! Thank you for my gift. It was very much worth the wait. It was way more than I expected. And his mouth is full of chocolate. I'm gonna eat mine. <laughs> you were supposed to say I'm speechless, but fine, sell me out. <laughs> she is amazing. This is the coolest thing like I think we've done thus far. Like I love the making the stories and building costumes for that, but mm -hmm. quite honestly, making a really cool costume and then getting an amazing costume in return like is, just such fun, and I think we should keep doing these. Maybe next year we'll open it up and do it more internationally. Yeah. Um, that would be really fun. So, you know, keep that in mind. I'll be reaching out to some people, or you can reach out to me if you want to, if you're a YouTuber who wants to be involved next year. And um, I would suggest to any of you at home, like, try this out with your friends, you know, or people that you know. Do a, a very specific crafting gift swap like this because. You know, it's it's one thing to get gifts, but to actually have somebody envision something for you and create it um, and just come up with something, it's just so amazing. And to have this on Harper is actually very special because she is kind of, she kind of represented me internally. Mm -hmm. So to see her in this outfit, which is very much my Lady Disdain, is, uh, is just fabulous. Yeah, this is, I think now officially the My Lady Disdain uniform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the fan and everything. I should have gone up and gotten myself a fan so that I could kind of sit with, with her and fan myself, but <laughs> that's for another time. You, you mean like tomorrow and the next day <laughs> and the next day and I'll be picking Ferrero Rocher out of my teeth for a while. That's all for us. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays, Diana. And if you want to see what gift I made and who I gave it to, you're gonna have to check out the other channels this weekend. And if you'd like to see some of the costume designs that Sandy has done in a more period style like this, you should definitely check out our Greek steampunk collab that we did a while back where we made costumes and did a whole story for the three fates. It was a fantastic check it out right there. That's it for us. Bye. Bye.